Hey everybody, Jem Schofield here with the C47, and you're not going to look at my ugly mug today, because you saw enough of it in the last episode from the Roadshow. But what I want to talk about is the Osmo Plus. Now, I originally bought the Osmo, the first version of this, and returned it very quickly because it had a minimum focus distance of three feet. And the last time I checked, my arms aren't a full three feet long and I didn't want to get into extension rods and all kinds of crazy stuff in order to use it that way. So the Osmo Plus is a little bit different. It has a zoom lens. It does not have that minimum focus distance so you can actually use it handheld. Uh, and I have kind of a setup here that I think might be worth considering. Now I already have a vlogging system which is based on the crane gimbal system, the M3, and I don't know if I'm gaining a lot by going with the Osmo, except for it is much, much smaller. Well, it's much smaller um, and lighter, a little more compact, nowhere near as good in low light, which I think is one of the, the downsides, uh, downsides of the system. But let's just go ahead and take a look at what I have here. So let me just pop this up here onto the table. I'll go to a wider focal length here, and I'm also going to tilt uh, actually down, not up, and take a look at this stuff. So you'll see on the table over here, uh, ND filters and a polarizer, important I think for a system like this. Extra batteries are an absolute must, eats it for breakfast. It might not be as bad as the Sony A7 series, but it's not great. Um, and then in terms of the base system itself, it's the gimbal system, which has the built-in camera. Um, it has the smartphone holder, and then you have to obviously add your smartphone to that. I have um, right now an iPhone 6S. I've been using it with the 6 Plus, but I feel that that size is just too large for this system, so I think a smaller phone is better overall in terms of balancing. Uh, but I've added a couple of extra things here that I think if you're going to use this system are important. So number one, um, and let me just flip the screen up so I can see what I'm doing. Number one is this base here. It's not expensive, but it does give you something to hold the whole system with without getting into weird attachments and then their tripod, um, which is just crappy. Uh, this is simple. It's also, it gives a little bit of weight to the system here. Not expensive and I think a good addition if you're gonna think about using the Osmo Plus. Um, the second thing is this little attachment here, which I'm gonna unplug stuff from and show you. And let me just take the Rode Video Micro and this other little attachment that I have here, which is just this little right angled sort of cold shoe to quarter 20 thing and just show you this. Now this is about 10 bucks and it has two cold shoes. It rotates 360 degrees actually. And it just attaches to the back of this smartphone mount which comes with the Osmo Plus. So essentially what you do is you just attach that there, flip it around. Actually, let me just show you how I'm gonna attach stuff. So I'll take this little attachment here and I will put that into that cold shoe female adapter. And then the Rode Video Micro, that just slides in again right here into the cold shoe tighten that down. I'm going to go ahead and plug the mic in right here and then you get this complete system. And what I really like about this is that I have the microphone here which I can adjust in terms of angle and then of course I have my screen to control the actual phone itself and everything else. And then I have this little Aperture M9 on here and because you need to give this particular camera some light this gives you a lot of flexibility in terms of that. So I can just go ahead and turn that and face it at whatever I'm shooting here, or if I was going to go ahead and go into um, sort of selfie mode on this by triple clicking, 
you'll see that I can then take this light and face it towards the person that's basically shooting their vlog. Um, I actually don't like to face the light directly at the person because I'm not really into flat lighting. So what I'll do is I'll just put it on a slight angle and that gives it a little bit of shape. And this little M9 for about $50 US is fantastic. This is a really, really nice combo overall. Um, I think that's pretty much it. I mean, in terms of my thoughts, the, uh, the biggest things for me are that they have fixed the minimum focus distance. Um, the downsides to me really are battery life. I would say that I really would love it if they could figure out how to get some sort of face detection into the system because you do have to keep tapping on the screen when you're using the camera in order to get focus. And it does not have face detection like the Osmo Mobile does. Um, but other than that, I think that for the price, the system is good. I don't think that I get the same exact type of smoothness that I'm getting out of this type of gimbal or when we go into higher end gimbals like the Ronin and of course the Movi. But I think that for the price, as long as you can give that camera system, that little sensor, some light, you can get some really nice results from the Osmo Plus. Uh, I think that's my basic thoughts. I think that it's, uh, it's a winner overall. You just have to know that you need to give it light. It does not have face detection. And other than that, it's a pretty solid system. Got to play around a little bit with the white balance, I have to say and also um, just in terms of me i kind of use it in a shutter priority type of mode so i'll set it to a uh, 50th of a second and then whatever my frame rate is and i will let the camera itself decide on what the iso is you can go into complete manual and that's fine but that's the way i've been using it so there you go the osmo plus um, pretty much recommended compared to the original osmo and nice to have that zoom lens. And I'm out.